Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to set text on a HUD device using Verse Code, making function calls out of Verse to the HUD device. And I struggled with this for several hours. I couldn't get it to work. And then I finally stumbled upon the answer in the Verse documentation. And I don't know if anybody ever takes the time to read it, but I wanted to show you something really quick here. I was just reading here on indentation where it says, and this is on the formatting, the style guide, it says use four spaces for indentation, never tabs. Did you know that? <laughs> I've been using tabs all the time. I just think that's really interesting, never tabs. Gosh, I mean, I've been using tabs, but I do notice, I think every once in a while, it does cause problems. So good to know, right? So anyway, you find this kind of stuff in the documentation, but honestly, who's got the time to read all this stuff? But I guess I do. So, <laughs> so anyway, here we go. Usually I have a sample of what I'm doing, and in, in this case, I'm actually just starting it from scratch in the beginning. So anyway, to get started with this, we just need to get a HUD device. So we'll come into Devices, and we'll search for HUD. And we'll just drag this onto the scene. And normally we would set the text here, but we can set this through our verse code. And this opens up many possibilities for us because we could cycle in different messages and things like that. Once we do that, now we just need to create our verse device. So we'll come up here, right click. We can just leave it called Hello World device and go create, save, selected. And it just takes a minute to load up. And then I can just come up here to my top level, clear my, come into here. I'm just gonna go ahead and drag it onto the scene. And like I like to do, is just build it just to make sure everything's okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and double click into this. Then what we're gonna do, yeah, I guess I can just delete it all. So that we can just delete all this. Sorry about that, Control A, because it is called Hello World Device. So I'm gonna go Control C. And we'll just go over this real quick. This isn't too complicated. I should have made a, could have made a function call out of this with the trigger device. But basically we just have our modules up here. We've got our Hello World device inheriting from the creative device class. And then we have our at editable, which basically creates a reference to our HUD device, which is in the scene. Then we have our on begin play and our suspense, which allows us to use time function calls like sleep. So what this is gonna do is, as soon as the game starts, there's gonna be a 10 second delay. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically make a call to our HUD message device. And so we're gonna reference it here with this my HUD variable. And then we've got the set text command and it needs to be, this is really the main thing here of this whole tutorial, this message here, well, let me do this. This might be easier. Let me hit control and go into here. And if we come in down to the digest, it says here, and this is on the HUD message device, it says set text public text message. Well, I was confused about what this is. And this is actually a type. And if you read in the documentation, what you'll see is that whenever you see a message type, you have to use the localizes specifier and set it to a string. So that's what we've done here is we've created a variable called message one. We've set the specifier localizes colon message because it's a message type equals, and then just we set the string. And it, as you'll notice from the documentation too, it also says on set text, text is clamped to 150 characters. So we can only use 150 characters. So, but knowing this, the only way to find this out was by going through the documentation. That was the only way I found out that this is how you initialize the message type is with the localizes specifier. And I saw on a forum, like some people said you couldn't set the text like it wasn't working but it does work so then we just go my hud set text message one and you type in whatever you want your message to be so here i'll type in something other than how are you doing i'll type in did you know you are not supposed 
to tab in first. <laughs> okay. And there's our message. And then this just shows it. And that's all there is to it. So these calls could be placed into a function if you wanted to. But I just I just have them just written straight out here to, to execute. So that's all we have to do. And I'm just going to come up here. We have our device in the scene. We're going to go verse, build our code. You'll see it comes down here with our reference. We make a reference to our HUD message device. And then I'll go ahead and launch this and we'll test it and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so it finally started up and I'm gonna go start. So once I hit start, then nothing will seem to happen for about 10 seconds and then we should see the message appear. So I could just be walking around here and just give it 10 seconds. Yeah, did you know you're not supposed to tab in first? <laughs> okay, and that's all I had for today. I hope you found this helpful, and please subscribe if you're so inclined.